Thank you. Thank you. Well, I just want to take a moment, first of all, to thank each one of you. Uh, 2019 was my biggest year in photography to date. Thank you. And I just want to thank each one of you for your referrals, those of you who trusted me with your families, those of you who trusted me with your headshot images. Um, the team referral network concept works. And it works for my business because 99% of my business comes from referrals and repeat business. Um, this is what we do here. And I will tell you, I'm just so grateful to each one of you for trusting me. Um, I'll give you a couple examples of things that have happened this year. I did a family shoot and mom called me back for headshots. And then I almost immediately got a call from a neighbor who'd seen her shots and wanted uh, family shots for, for them. Another thing that happened this year was I got a, um, a call from a stranger who had found me on the internet, uh, an art historian with Sotheby's. So I was very flattered that she liked my work. And uh, I did her Christmas cards. Almost immediately after Christmas, I got a call from someone who received one of her cards who loved my work and wanted for me to come and do their daughter's second birthday. So totally different kinds of things. but the power of referrals and repeat business. So um, these folks, I think one of the things that differentiates me is these folks end up feeling like I'm a trusted member of their family because a lot of times I am coming into their homes or speaking of holy ground onto events that I have no access to these people at these points in their life other than the fact that they trust me with my camera to capture, to capture their moments. And what they get with me, the Bobby Tiso experience, is that I'm genuine, I'm authentic. What you see, you know, you've known me for eight months, and Dr. Roger knows that when I'm on that table, I don't, sh I just, I get nervous and I start talking, so you know everything about me. There are no secrets, right? But um, what you see is what you get. You know, I'm a successful and well-educated person, but you know, my roots are in my dad's gas station. So I grew up in my dad's gas station talking to, in the same day or the same conversation, a CEO and a truck driver or the bricklayer or the local president or manager of a business. And I can assure you that I did not ever look at any one of them differently. I didn't treat them differently. Of course, we had different conversations, but um, that is, that's what I bring to this business. So when you trust me, with your families, with your hardworking families who are your clients, or with your clients who are presidents or CEOs or independently wealthy, you can know that I will treat them with great respect and care, that I roll out the red carpet for everyone that I work with. So I feel like in my photos, what you see is that my subjects are genuinely respected. Um, that is what I think makes a difference in, in my images. I do have a referral program for clients, and then I have special pricing for all of my fellow team members. So if that's something that you are interested in, uh, get with me and we'll, we'll get it going. Um, some of the things that I do, just to trigger some thoughts for you, uh, I do events, but I also do birthdays, uh, family photo shoots, cards, holiday cards, bar mitzvahs, quinceañeras, family reunions, whatever, headshots. I do a lot of headshots. This, why is February such a big month for headshots? I don't know. I need to know that. I don't know, but February is all about headshots. What is it, Rob? Google it. Google, I should Google it. I don't have time to Google. I'm too busy working. So, um, so I want to just take a step back now from the business of photography and talk about a little bit what I do and why and how I do it. So telling the stories of our lives. You know, I talk to you guys a lot about my, I'm not going to call it disdain because I have a little bit of it myself, but my, my desire to see us having more inspirational art on our walls than we see at IHOP. I mean, let's face it, we've all got some of this stuff from home goods in our places. Hey, it brightens up the room, it's good. But what I wanna show you now are a couple of the things that I've been working on that tell stories. Okay, this first one is a, okay. 
Zambian princess, literally. Her father was an ambassador. She traveled the world. My friend Lena here and her husband Cecil, they have a blended family. So Lena, who is truly an African princess, has two sons from a previous marriage, and then Cecil has three kids from a previous marriage, and they have chosen to blend their families and to live their life with joy, on purpose, with all the mess and the muck. And this is something she has hanging literally in the entryway of her home. These are such hardworking people. They're people that are wealthy and of great privilege, but yet they, they still work really hard. They go out every day to work. And when they do that, they're slogging it out for their family. They come back in and this is what they see. This is why we do what we do. And this is how we're living our life on purpose with joy. Okay, next, thank you. Isn't Barry amazing? Can we just say it for Barry Egate? Inspiration. I tell everybody else that Barry is my inspiration. I just didn't want him to get, you know, full of himself here. Okay, now this one, I'm quite proud of this because um, this little mom had been divorced. Her divorce was final probably three weeks before we did our photo shoot. And this is done in her hometown out in Upland. And she wanted this shot of she and her girls walking out into the next chapter of their life. Um, dad had, it was, it was bad, you guys. It was, not, it was not an amicable divorce. And she's heartbroken. The girls are heartbroken. And this hangs in her home when she doesn't have an entry. Her home is like, a, there's a living room. This is why when I work with you, I was like, let me come see your home. It's not to see if you're rich or not. It's to see, like, what is the scale and what's the size and where can we put some art. Mm -hmm. So she opens her door every day and this is what she wanted. She commissioned this for when she walks in. It helps her, she says it helps her take a next step with courage. Every day, it's hard, but it's she and her girls <laughs> stepping out into the future, that was cute, with, with courage. Okay, next. Okay, I wanna also, while we're doing that, because I don't want to run out of time. I don't know who's got that gong, but I'm pretty sure it's Stacy. A really, really, really fun three. Oh, fantastic! Okay, a really fun project that I did um, in December, almost all-consuming, was the equivalent of 35 headshots of three to five-year-olds and uh, candids. I did all the layout and design of this. I had been asked to do a yearbook for a local preschool. So I'm gonna pass these around for you guys to sort of look at. I just want, I have to tell you, this is a, a job of my heart. I already booked another one for um, June delivery. So I'm, I'm really loving this. So it served as, she wanted sort of a marketing piece, but also to show the personalities of the kids. So the kids will have this as they go out into their lives to remember their, their classmates from this little preschool. Montessori school, I'm always quick to make the distinction. Okay, last shot. This is the lovely Mendoza family. And this, I hope that by looking at these pictures, you will get the sense that we don't have to have annual photos in the park. Hey, I have them. I've got one that I did two weeks ago with my family, you know, with the heads facing on and we're smiling. But I feel like we can't put a new one of those on the wall every year. But we can make art with our families that is not gonna create narcissists in our lives, but also it's gonna edify and tell the stories of our lives. So this was a joyous moment in the life of this family, which only lasted for a moment. Um, Mom and Dad have three biological kids, one adopted, and this was their little foster bambino who they loved and really came close to adopting, but he ended up going back to birth dad. But I will tell you, this gives them so much joy to remember not sadly, but to remember, hey, you know what, that was, that was kind of one of those perfect times in our life. I love this. So these are actually my copies, so I also keep copies that I can put on my mantle, not just of my family, but these are the Mendozas, and I really love them. So just in closing, I just want to, again, thank you guys again for making 2019 a banner year for me. I could not have done it without the team. Um, I just want you to know you can trust your families and your clients with me and that I will treat them with the utmost respect and care. And then lastly, I hope that I have inspired you in ways that we can tell our family stories. Um, let's keep doing the photos at the park. I'm not averse, but other ways that we can turn it on its head a little bit and we don't have to be so literal, but we can edify our families and show these moments that meant so much to us. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
here. 